Hey guys, this is me making a video. Um, just kind of a random video. I think I might have made this in the past, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and just make another one. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyways, this is gonna be a video about Stephen Curry, one of the most overrated players of all time, <laughs> and the thing is, is that his fans who's been fans of him since like, what, like 2015 I've seen people saying that he that people's been a fan of him since like 2013 like it's like dude stop lying to yourself you mean to tell me that you were a fan of him since like 2013 when Monte Ellis was the best player on that team I think he was averaging like what like 15 points a game or something okay so let me go ahead and Tell y'all why I think Stephen Curry is overrated. First off, people were out there saying he's better than LeBron James. Who's actually the best player in the league, by the way. LeBron James is still the best player in the, still the, best player in the league. He, how? And don't go saying, don't go, go, go on saying NBA Finals, alright? Because Stephen Curry, first off, in 2015, <coughs> 2015, LeBron had no help. Zero help. And Stephen Curry was off when that NBA Finals. He was not even the Finals MVP. The Finals MVP went, went to a bench player. So let's see. He's going to 2016 when the Cavaliers did win because Stephen Curry was awful. And people started saying, started saying, oh, Cavs only won because... <clears throat> well, first off, they say because of the refs, all right, know the usual nonsense they always bring up. But even though there was questionable calls on both sides, it's not it was not a one-sided thing. But there were some people people saying Jeremy Green's one game suspension, and let's see, <clears throat> Andrew Bogut's and Andre Iguodala's injuries to role players. Was the cause of the Cavaliers win? When it was like y'all called the Cavaliers 2015 injuries a, a lame excuse. So as far as I'm concerned, y'all have no right to bring up that to bring up that stuff. All right, or else it's just double standards. Now 2017, Curry had a lot whole whole lot of help. LeBron was literally out there doing everything. All right, Kyrie Irving, Kyrie Irving, he was okay. Wasn't all that. Darren Williams was awful. Kyle Korver was a no show. Jared Smith what was was bad for the first few games. Schumper didn't do anything. Kevin Love he had a I think he had a I think he had a decent game in that series, but other than that nothing. Not nothing. And let's see, Curry's playing with three other All Stars. All right. All right. Even in 2016, the only reason why Curry made the finals because Clay Thompson, who's better than Stephen Curry, bailed him out. All right, Clay Thompson and Jeremy Green are both better than Stephen Curry. That's is, <laughs> and the thing is that in the 2016 finals, Stephen Curry was getting outplayed by a better player in Kyrie Irving. All right, LeBron, LeBron deserved Finals MVP, but deserved deserved Finals MVP, but. Kyrie Irving was dancing all over him too, so there's that. All right, and the thing is that Stephen Curry is one-dimensional. All he does is spam three-pointers. All right, he has no post moves. He's one of the worst defenders in the league, if not the worst defender in the league. He's a defensive liability. So like, well, <laughs> well, he sometimes he gets a lot of steals. That doesn't prove he's a good defender. A lot of steals does not mean, mean good, good. Does not mean that person's playing good defense. Alright. It just means that. It just means. He sometimes he just gets that from like bad passes. Whatever. So no, Stephen Curry can't play defense. <clears throat> Alright. He doesn't even have any post moves, people. He does not have any post moves. And 
can get a drink of water. All right. So let's see. People comparing him to LeBron James, which I don't understand at all. So let's see. LeBron. The only thing Curry can do better than LeBron is shoot three pointers. That's that's literally it. So let's see. LeBron's a better is a better defender. That's not even that's not even a debate. He's a better rebounder, obviously. Let's see. Better passer. More athletic. And the Bruins 33. And. There's others. I remember. Oh, he's better getting to the basket. He can defend all five positions. Curry can't even defend his own position. He has post moves. Curry has no post moves. And the NBA is trying to hype him up by giving him two straight MVPs. All right, the first one should have went to James Harden. The sec, the first one Curry got should have went to James Harden. The second one Curry got should have went to LeBron. But that's just me. And one was on top of that. One know something on top of that. Even before Kevin Durant went there, the Warriors do fine. And still do fine when Curry's out. They still win games when Curry's out. Since LeBron came back to Cleveland, the Cavaliers are, have four wins, 23 losses, and one of those four wins was from when Kyrie Irving dropped 55 points, and the Cavs still barely won that game. That just shows you an impact. That, that, just, that just shows you right there that LeBron has more impact. Alright, so, is that. Alright, people. Russell Westbrook is the best point guard in the league, not Stephen Curry. Alright, he's not better than Russell Westbrook. He's not better than Chris Paul. He's not better than Kyrie Irving. He's not better than John Wall. He's not better than Damian Lillard. Alright. He's not better than Chris Paul, by the way. Not. He's not better than Chris Paul. I mean, people are just, and there's some people out there that says that he's better than Michael Jordan. This is getting out of hand. You can't base a player that's better just just based on jump shots. You can't. Because all he does is shoot threes. That's literally it. He's one-dimensional. Alright, want to know why the Cavaliers beat beat the Warriors in 2016 finals? Because they, they were switching. Alright, they were doing a lot of switches. But they were also... They are also doing doing this. They were running. They were running away. They were, they were running Curry away from the three point line. I mean, duh. All he does is shoot threes. All right. I'm saying that Kevin Durant, despite his weak move. All right. I talked about that in the previous video. Despite his weak move, Kevin Durant is the best player in the Warriors. All right. Then it's Clay Thompson after that. Then it's Draymond Green after that. And then it's Curry. Alright, I gotta get ready for class, so I will talk to y'all later.